There. Hello? Anyway. <clears throat> Little icon to say there is sound now, so I'll start over. While well, Mexico is asking about my Tiffany CD. Okay. So we'll start with that one, and I was saying that's 2007. There's this one, which was 2001, and it's the first CD that she signed for me and used a nasty little squiggly pen. So you can't actually see it, but it's right there. Let's see, next we've got, oh, that's a good one. Nice thick marker on that one. And it says, To Jason Love Tiffany, I think. Scooter Crew. <clears throat> this one, uh, she looked at this one in the air. Um, she signs on the inside of this album because the front cover is so dark. So I have to go hunting for the signature on this one. This still doesn't show up very well, but it's just on the inside. Ah, there we can catch it with the light there. No, I've lost my place. Who oh, no. knew? The next, second album, to Jason, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure it says Love Tiffany. What mean lion? It means uh, in bed, longer time in bed on a Sunday morning. Everyone deserves a little bit of a rest every now and then, right? This one is not signed. 2005. Tribute to Blondie. Not a Blondie fan, but this has just the one from Tiffany on it. Yeah, just one song. Another version of this one. From 2000. That one I've just done. That one I've just done. Ugh. Tribute to Tina Turner. How many does she do on this? She does one. Just one? Just the one. Single. 1987. Greatest Hits. From 1996. Another single from 1988. Bizarre this one because it's a, a three inch that actually comes in a five inch case. Why? Same with this one. Another single from 1988. Okay, then, yes. All woman. All women. <laughs> I guess. Um, best of from 2000 something. Small print. Could be 2008. But it's a bit random, that one, with its track selection. Very loud CD as well, from what I remember. <clears throat> Jetson soundtrack, which we did, uh, she did, um, what, three songs for? Yeah, one, two, three, yeah, just three songs on there. Uh, best one from Japan from a year that it does not say 
or if it, oh, 1992 for that one. Another CD single from 2000. I love Batman 1989, yeah. Michael Keaton was very good. Still is very good. How many does she do on here? I can't even see it. <laughs> Tash is out cold here. No, no, it's not. It's just upside down. That's out cold. Ah, there it is. New Year's Day. Track number three, just the one, 1999. And then just off to the side, I've got a bunch of other three inch singles. And Nicholson as well, yeah. 1988. Is this a second copy of the same one I found earlier? Have I got spares? I have two versions of the same single. What's the difference? Oh, this one's from Japan. Well, so technically, I don't need this one. Yes, but like I said, you said you wanted it. Yeah. And Ron wants a signed one. Yeah, Ron wants a signed one, so uh, I'd have to get it signed before I gave it to him. That would be pretty difficult. But yeah, um, I'll leave that as that is and uh, just trim it down, maybe, <clears throat> for the YouTube stuff. But anyway, 14 minutes, so someone will have had an advert by now. Which one was it? Was it Call of Duty again? I really didn't like Call of Duty before, but now I'd be willing to buy the darn game if it meant the adverts shut up. Are you winning? Nope. I'm just tired. Oh well. He's not zonked, he's awake. He's not zonked. No, he's just, he's just lounging. Ah, pretend captain. Waiting for his chance to get us. Da -da -da. Excuse me. Black Ops disup me. Disappointed? Mm. I haven't played it. I, uh, I've never played any of the Call of Duty games and uh, I think I actually bought one of them for my brother one year for his birthday. But uh, Tattoo Terror, hello! 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 Um, yeah, bought one for my brother once and uh, it wasn't my thing then. Uh, the, the last time I really enjoyed a shooter, a, you know, a walk around shooting, a ground based shooter. I did enjoy Gears of War 1 for a little while, but uh, about a, a year or two after the second one came out, I went back to it and tried to finish it. I just couldn't play the darn thing. Am I getting the Star Wars game? Mm, let's think about it. <sighs> Thinking about it. Tempted. Well, Certainly tempted. Uh, we'll see. Alright, there is somebody else in the room. Ah. It's, not not it's not a real person. It's not a real person. It's not the cat. It's not a real cat. <clears throat> Hi from Canada. Hello, Canada. Hello. Or should it be Comosa, Canada? Comosa? Isn't that French? No. Where's that from then? Who's in the back? It's Budka. 
Budka is in the back. Where I belong. <laughs> but no, you're thinking of Como Esta, right? Which yeah, is, which is, is Spanish. Spanish. Sorry. Jizz Balls says hello. Hello, Jizz Balls. Would you prefer Jizz Balls or Jizzy Balls? Or Jizz Ballsy. Or Jizz Ballsy. Or just a Ballsy Jizz in general. <laughs> Do I get to chat on my own room or. Yes, or sorry. No, 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 not you. I'm just wondering, so I'm hitting the keyboard. Scooter crew. Hovering. I have to love Sundays. Okay. I'm from Russia. Nice. Russia. That's Tanya. <coughs> there you go. <coughs> Pardon me. No, get one right. Where are you from? London. No, no, I'm originally from Cornwall. Just call me Cuntball. Cuntball. Nice to see you. Fair enough. Bane is the best bad guy in Batman. No, no, no. no. Are Joker? we talking... What, are we talking Batman movie or are we talking Batman series? Comics? Yeah. I don't know much about um, anything outside of the, the movies, really. Uh, he certainly did not kick much backside in... <sighs> Which one was he in? He was in Batman and Robin, wasn't he? Mm. Yeah, it was bad in that. Crikey's High Fisket. Hello, Ashes. Nice to see ya. My first day, snow here. Oh, snow already. Nice one. Why are English people so pleasant to chat to? They are. We are. We, we're just pleasant. Not, not always. But uh, you can say that about anyone in any country all over the world. They always have nice people and... Uh, Unpleasant people. Bane movie? There was a Bane movie? What, by there himself? Because if you're talking the Bane that was in um, Batman and Robin, then thumbs down. If you're talking the Bane that was in uh, Dark Knight Rises, then uh, better. Definitely better. You guys suck at cricket. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we won the Ashes this year. I don't know. We did. Did we? Yes, we did. Did we win this year? Yes, we did. And we whooped Australia's ass. Bottom. Sorry. Bottom. Bum. First day snow. So it's November. You're going to have snow right through to like May then, I bet. Supposedly. April? May? Well, it doesn't mean Russia. Don't they have snow all the time? Not in all of it, surely. But it depends on where you are in Russia. Yeah. Yeah, Call of Duty, never played it. Uh, last first person shooter I really enjoyed before the little Gears of War foray was uh, Doom. <laughs> Bane lives up my butt. That's where he talk. That's why he talks like that. Okay. Does he? Does he echo? Our world definitely need Batman. Hmm. Possibly. I'm Batman. No, I'm Batman. No, I'm Batman. Yeah, Pommy. I'm gonna replace that word with swines. Pommy swines won the ashes. Uh, good for them. Uh, I, I didn't see it, uh, but yeah, every game always has a winner, right? Bane kicks arse! Becca Stars! Hi, Becca! Hello, Becca Stars. Let's, oh, let's see if I can find the twinkle sound effect, shall I? Love the shirt. Yes, the yes I'm I'm Batmaning today. Come on. Hi, Becca Stars. Come on, it's got to work. Oh 
No, come on, don't let me down like this. Aussie arseholes, oh dear. That's not true, there's some darn fine Australians out there. Mark Webber, for one. Hugh Jackman. Pleasant as always, old chap. Mm -hmm. Of course. I try. Come on, you can do it. But um, on the subject of games, uh, I guess my favourite type of game would usually probably be either, either beat em up or driving game. <clears throat> McTaylor, Wolf Creek? McTaylor. Who's he? I've heard of Wolf Creek. That was Lou Diamond Phillips. Was it? Yeah. H. Cooter says, Nice to meet you, old school chat game gamer. Ah, yeah. right. We don't know what we're chatting about today, to be honest. We're just chilling. Just chilling. If you have a subject you want us to talk about, fine. Bring it up, yeah. Yeah. What was I looking at the sound effects for? Like stars. Oh, the twinkles, of yeah. course. Where are they? Is that the one? And I say, Becca stars and... No, that's entirely not, the wrong one. That's not stars. <laughs> I'm not lucky for that. No. no. Becca stars. That's no. not stars either. <laughs> She'll kill you. She's not going to be impressed, no. no. Becca stars. <laughs> Sweet birdie. Ah. Yes, that's um, that's that's catch elves. My favourite game is human game and hunting. You hunt people. That's a bit weird. It's a bit like uh, Dog the Bounty Hunter. Wolf Creek, good Australian film. Favourite Atari game. Ooh, did you mean the old Atari games, or do you mean when they just became a publisher? Because uh, I've actually got a Jaguar and stuff down here. Yeah, the the sound effects I'm I'm failing big time here, aren't I? Becca Stars. No. Nope. Becca Stars. Oh, that's me. I'm sorry. <laughs> it has to be an appropriate one. No. Are <laughs> you reading the comments? Because I can't. Yeah, she she says I'm failing bad at the sound effects. Yeah. Games lost its deep. I guess. Games, there certainly are big these days. Whopping, in fact. I'm gonna give up with these sound effects. Yeah, I would. Yeah, it's not working out at all. Okay. Yes! The quiz is still there. I messed it up last night. I broadcast for about an hour and uh, <clears throat> got to the end of it, hit the wrong button and kapoof. So all I did was giggle. People must have been chuffed with that. But yeah, um... Let's just cover all the Atari bases, shall I? Uh, back in the 70s and early 80s, I guess I really enjoyed the <clears throat> Indiana Jones spin-off that came out for the VCS. 
That one was fun. Babes. Yes? I need you to shut up a minute. Okay. Becca, this is for you, chicken. What's that? Apparently a shooting star effect. That's a shooting star, is Apparently. it? Apparently. It sounded more like a zapping. I know. Hold on. Fallout 2 was something. Yeah, I guess it had to have been for everyone to be going bonkers about Fallout 4 at the moment. Ah! Is that Twinkly? Yes! There we go, Twinkly! Have you heard that? What was that at the end? That was a Japanese Namco thingy. Namco? I like Namco. Mm. Continue. Mm. Demons to Diamonds was fun. Breakout was always fun. Atari did Asteroids as well, didn't they? So, that was always good. I love Asteroids. <laughs> Becca Star says, Shooting Stars, LMAO. Yay! Let's see, a little while later, Atari tried, um, tried purely to be, well, they didn't try purely, but they, they was, as well as doing the Atari ST, they were doing arcade games. Thank you, thank you, Twinkle Twinkle, she says. Oh. Square Head, oh my god, the match I just had with Finn WWE was crazy. Good for you. Did you win? Uh, what happened? What happened? The controller's disconnected. But you're still there. You can tell I'm new at this, can't you? Yeah, we're still there, though. Yeah. Phew, I got worried then. Sorry about that. Fallout 4, I guess. Like children, bright cartoon. I'm gonna have to sort out the screen and stuff again now. Oh. The car's gone now. I know. I hope it hasn't lost any of the uh, stuffs. How annoying. Come on now. I'm not having much luck. No, I'm not having much luck. So how are people's Sundays going? Are you having lots of poodles? Oh, fun again. They don't understand foodles. Food. Yeah. Oh, you're joking. The quiz is gone. Oh. <sighs> oh, well, they didn't know what lions were anyway. Oh, I'm terrible, aren't I? So, me quiz. Okay, I'll get one up in a minute. Now what's happening? Go away. Good lord. We killed each other in that ring. Good one. Anyway, um, back to, you were asking about villains, uh, for me the best villain in the Batman series has to be uh, Harlequin, because she's so lost and follows that madman around everywhere, and it's insane to boot. Okay, let's try for a fresh poll.
does that not give me a capital? There we go. Put it back again? Yeah, I got it back again. Just have to keep wiggling this every now and then, I suppose. Do I think they had to invade Syria? Has someone done that? I don't know. I tend to keep uh, isolated from the news and stuff. <clears throat> it's generally all bad news anyway. No news is good news. So, have to? I guess not. Uh, everyone makes a choice. There's always got to be a choice one way or another, even if one is better than 